Hi, this is Ranger Jonah with DeKalb County. In the midst of the COVID crisis, I'm still doing strolls to the green spaces close to my house, and I hope you are, keeping six foot distance, of course. But uh, connection with nature is something that we can still do even while we're sheltering in place. And so today, I wanna to introduce you to one of my friends. Well, friend may be stretching it, but uh, it is my favorite tree. Uh, this is the, the tulip tree. Most people call it the yellow poplar or the tulip poplar, but it's actually related to the magnolia family. Uh, magnolias that you're probably most familiar with are these trees. They have the large, glossy, kind of waxy leaves. They'll grow these big flowers, and you can see the buds forming right here. That's the magnolia family. That's usually what we think of magnolias. But did you know that most magnolias are actually deciduous? They lose their leaves in the winter. So the tulip tree, as I said, usually people call it the tulip poplar or the yellow poplar, um, is uh, one of my favorite trees, and this is the perfect time to introduce them to you. Because even though when I walk up to this tree, all I see is just a furrowed trunk going up, 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 up. This is actually one of our Georgia wildflowers. Yes, the tulip tree is called that because it grows tulip-shaped flowers. And if we look down on the ground at this time of year, you can probably find a few of them. Let's see. Ah, look at this. Just what I wanted to show you. So, first of all, we have this beautiful flower. It grows at the top of the tree and is actually one of the favorite foods of uh, swallowtail butterflies. But because the flowers are only blossoming in mid to late April, like right now, it's less likely you'll be able to identify the tree by its flower than by its leaf. Do you see how that middle vein goes right up to a divot instead of a point? Every other tree that grows natively in Georgia ends at a point, whereas the tulip tree has two points that actually come out of that center vein, and the center vein ends in, as I said, a divot. Look for this shape. Some people have told me it looks a little bit like a cat's face. Hmm. Can you see the ears? What about the whiskers? Well, possibly, but this is the best way to identify the tulip tree, but at this time of year, you can find these beautiful wildflowers. This is Ranger Jonah with my friend, the tulip tree, with DeKalb County, signing off.